Hey crew, let's do Linda. All right, so today we're gonna to double the reps up. Instead of 10 to one, we're doing 20, 18, 16, all the way down through. We're gonna do hip thrusts, uh, push-ups, and what are we doing? Goblet squats. So uh, what we're gonna do, we'll start off with the hip thrusts. After we go over all these, I want you to do at least one run through round of five reps of each before you start the workout. So make sure you feel comfortable with each of these, okay? Oh no, the hip thrusts. Sand is all over Susie. So, it is okay. Uh, hip thrust can be with or without a weight. Do not need to use a weight here. You can use a dumbbell, sandbag, groceries, whatever you want to use as a weight. Okay. She's gonna have her feet in line with her shoulders here. She's just gonna drive her hips off the floor. Her belly stays tight. All that pressure is coming through her glutes and hamstrings to squeeze. We're not trying to push the belly button up. Just trying to push basically our belt line up into the air, okay? Coming back down. Drive it back up again. Think about driving the knees out slightly as well, pushing right through the middle of your foot, okay? If you happen to have a small band at home you want to place around your knees, that'll also make these a lot tougher. Okay, you can hop on up. So those are our glute bridges, or hip thrusts. Um, and next we're gonna do push-ups. So we'll show some regular push-ups, then we'll show our scale here. So good push-ups. Elbows are coming back at that nice 45 degree angle. We're never out or too far in. So, show them, yeah, there you go. Good, abs are nice and tight. Let's not uh, just let those shoulders go up and down. Show them just the shoulder push up with the hips in one place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then to scale those, easily, if you've got a countertop, whatever you've got at home, just, you we're gonna use a box. So I'm gonna get your hands a little bit higher. It is a lot of reps or of push ups here. So go ahead and show the scale there. Same elbows. We always wanna come all the way chest to whatever we're doing the push up on and hit full extension. So that's how you can know um, if you have the right height, if you can come all the way to your chest and back up, all right? And then lastly, we've got goblet squats. So whatever weight you find around the house, you're just gonna hold it right in front of you. You're gonna come on down and you can squat. Feet are underneath your shoulders, not narrow, but underneath those shoulders. Toes are slightly angled out, and our knees are always going in line with our toes. Good, just staying nice and active. We're only going as deep as we can with that good, tight, active position in the hips. Show them letting your kind of hips relax at the bottom. Yeah, we don't want to let that, let our kind of butt curl underneath us. We want to stay active, pop down at the bottom and back out, okay? Um, can you drop it? Rep-wise is another way you can scale this. So it is a lot of reps. Um, we should be able to do every set of movements, so like the set of 20 hip thrusts. Whatever it is, you should be able to do that in three sets or less. So um, well, I'll let you do the math on that one. But you only want to take two breaks each time if you need that. If it's taking you a lot more sets to get through, take a little bit of those reps off the edge, okay? So go ahead and hit a set of five of all three of those movements. Then when you're ready, go for it. Start at 20, go all the way to two for time, push your time on your quad. Come back to the cool down.